I was asked to review this question, page 208, number 65, from the review package. Um, it talks about uh, Mars, and it says that the force of gravity on Mars is 38% of the force of gravity on Earth. So part A says find the acceleration due to gravity on Mars. So if we note that the acceleration due to gravity, little g, on Earth is 9.8 meters per second per second. Or, another way to look at it is um, that the force of gravity on Earth is 9.8 newtons per kilogram. We actually called that the gravitational field strength. Then, in that case, the g value on oops, on Mars would be 38% or 0 0.38 it's 38% is a decimal multiplied by 9.8 which equals 3.7 meters per second per second on Mars or another way of looking at it would be 3.8 3.7 newtons per kilogram on Mars. So the answer is, since the force of gravity is 38% 38 uh, 38 of the force of gravity on Earth, then the acceleration due to gravity would also be 38% of the value on Earth, which is 3.7 meters per second per second. Part B of this problem asks, how much would a rover that has a mass of 180 kilograms weigh in newtons on Mars? So um, we do have this equation to find the force of gravity, which is the same thing as weight. Um, if we were asked how much mass does the rover have on Mars, the answer would still be 180 kilograms. The mass does not vary as the gravitational field strength varies. But the weight um, measured in newtons is, is a measure of the force of gravity on an object and we know that we have this equation Fg equals m times g to find the force of gravity or weight. So in this case our rover has a mass of 180 kilograms and we've determined that on um, the surface of Mars the field strength is 3.7 newtons per kilogram and if we multiply 180 by 3.7 then we get 666 newtons and if we want to write that to two significant figures, since our 3.7 only has two significant figures, so it's our 38%, then we would write it as 6.7 times 10 to the 2 newtons. Part C then asks, uh, uh, says a rock falls experience a force of gravity of 8,500 newtons on Earth, how much force would it experience on Mars? So there's a couple of ways of uh, doing that. So if we know the force of gravity is 8,500 newtons on Earth, then we could use Fg equals m times g on the valley uh, on the Earth's surface. So we could use that to figure out the mass of the object. Um, since we know that g is 9.8 newtons per kilogram on Earth's surface. So we could find the mass of the object, and then we could use fg equals m times g with the new value of g, 3.7, for the surface of Mars, and we'd get the answer. Um, so feel free to do it that way. The other thing, um, the other way of doing it was we're told that the force of gravity on Mars is 38% of the force of gravity on Earth. So on the surface of Mars, then, all we have to do is multiply 0.38, which is 38% as a decimal, by the 8500 to get the force of gravity on Mars. So if I do 0.38 times 8500, I get 3,230 newtons, which is the force of gravity on Mars. And again, if we want to put that to two significant figures, it would be 3.2 times 10 to the 3 newtons. So, basic idea is whatever the value is on the, on the Earth's surface, 
um, if we multiply that by 0.38, which is the 38% as a decimal, we're going to get the same values, whether we're talking the correct values for the surface of Mars, whether we're talking about acceleration or weight. Force of gravity is the same thing as weight.